What is going on today? Uh, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of this show. Uh, so recently, I, I was asking myself the question, you know, is Overwatch as bad as I thought it was? Most of my opinions were formed off of the, uh, the beta that I played in. Um, <clears throat> it was one of those titles that it was fun, it was okay, but uh, I didn't really feel like it was for me, and I didn't really understand all the hype around it, or all the, uh, it's the best game of the year, or it's it's so freaking amazing, and all that stuff. I didn't really understand it, and I was like, you know, my friends play it a lot, they seem to really enjoy it, um, I don't enjoy the competitive aspect, as in like, I don't enjoy how toxic they can get while they're playing competitive, but you know, I thought, hey, if we can keep it to the casual stuff, uh, you know, the arcade, um, or just quick play, you know, I'm, I could maybe get some enjoyment out of this game, and it's Christmas, you know, I had some Christmas money, and it was on sale, so I was like, hey, yeah, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up, maybe it's, maybe it's changed a lot since the beta, maybe it's not as, uh, maybe it's just not what I thought it was, so I, I decided to go and pick it up, and I am sinking, so if you notice that, good eye, but, um, yeah, so the question arose, and I figured I should make a video about it, of... Is Overwatch overrated? And of course, this is an opinion video, as it always is. None of my videos are usually fact, because, I mean, they're based off facts, but they're not usually actually fact. Um, but yes, the question is, is Overwatch overrated? And in my opinion, it is. My opinion has not changed even after spending time with the actual game. And in truth, I'm actually talking to Blizzard about trying to get a refund for it, because 30 bucks is a bit too much for me to just let slide. Um... But yeah, the game, I'm going to give out some roses and some negatives because there are good and bad things about the game, as there are with most games. And uh, Overwatch isn't all bad, as some might think or some might think I think. Um, it's For one, it, the characters are amazing. I, I will say that every time. Blizzard is amazing at making characters that you either care for or are just interested by in some manner. Uh, they've got some interesting lore going on and all that. And the characters' designs, like visually, aesthetically, they're very pleasing. They look really cool. A lot of the skins are really well made. Blizzard is just a pro at that. However, when it comes to gameplay and just the game itself, I, it doesn't strike me as anything worth a game of the year, really. Um, I guess you could say the multiplayer is good, so I guess it could get best multiplayer game of the year, but uh, the fact that it's in the running for actual game of the year seems kind of ridiculous to me. And this is really annoying me, so I need to change my chair. One moment. Alright, there it is. See, see that difference up there? That, like, less space between my baldish head and the top of the screen? Anyway, yeah, I, I don't understand how it's getting any runnings for actual game of the year. Uh, in terms of the actual game, I, I suppose it plays alright. But there's no story in the game, except for the little tidbits of, you know, like, character dialogue that happens at the very beginning of a match, and then there's nothing for the rest of the match. Um, in all honesty, uh, I'm sure if you play it a lot, it's a lot clearer, but in some situations, I couldn't tell what exactly was happening. Like, um, in terms of capturing points, you know, I, I suppose you have to capture the point and then hold it for a certain amount of time, but I did not understand how... Um, my team was, uh, for one, we weren't very good usually, but I didn't understand how my team's score was going up or how the other team's score was going up just because it wasn't really clear to me. Um, I didn't really enjoy that, and just the gameplay itself was really, really slow to me. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I died a lot, so that probably didn't help. And any in before anyone says, oh, maybe you just need to get good, I feel like a game should be fun whether or not you're extremely skilled or not, so... No, that's not a reasoning for me. Uh, but it's just that that long walk back every time and how not all characters have sprint, which I thought was kind of silly because, you know, if you're... I understand not wanting all characters to have, like, super speed, like, I don't know, Lucio or Genji's pretty quick. And, uh, of course, you know, um, Soldier 76, he's pretty fast when you actually use a sprint. But I feel like all characters should have, like, a momentary boost or something once they leave their safe zones. Just something to get you back in the fight a little bit quicker instead of having to, like, if you're playing Roadhawk, having to walk for, you know. I know 10 seconds sounds like so little time, but if you're actually in the game, you're like, well, I'm trying to get back in this fight. I would like to actually see an enemy so I can start doing something. It's 10 seconds is a long time. Um, 
so yeah, I just, I didn't really feel take, I, I didn't feel anything for the game. The most enjoyable part of the game was opening crates for me. And that really has nothing to do with the game. It's like, all right, cool. I got this outfit. Cool. I got these voice lines, which no, I don't know why those are thing. I, I didn't really hear anyone caring about those. Uh, it's like, you know, every now and then you get a spray that's kind of cool or something. But yeah, when I feel like if loot crates are the only thing that I can find to enjoy about your game, uh, in my opinion, your game's not good. Um, so that's that's just what I think of Overwatch. It's it's not an enjoyable experience for me, of course. As I said, this is all my opinion. Uh, it's not an enjoyable experience. If anyone asked me, I would probably have to say no. It's not worth buying, especially not for thirty dollars or forty as it's usually priced. Uh, maybe if it were like ten or five, I would be like, yeah, go ahead and get it. You know, whatever. It's some fuck some shooty shoot multiplayer. Why not? Um, but as it stands right now, uh, I'm I know a lot of people enjoy it and. I'm happy they enjoy it. That's good for them. But Overwatch is not anything to write home about, in my opinion. Um, I definitely don't think it deserves any Game of the Game of the Year nominations at all. And I'm talking Game of the Year, not like Multiplayer of the Year. Because in terms of multiplayer, it's... I mean, what did it have to go up against this year? Call of Duty and Titanfall 2, which probably deserves at least a little bit more recognition. But... Didn't really sell all that well. And I guess if there was an award for most interesting character designs, it would be in the running from... In my opinion, it should be in that running. Um, just because, you know, there's some cool looking stuff in there. That's that's pretty much it, though. Uh, so, yeah, that's my opinion on this. Uh, you can call this a review if you like, but it's more just like a... This was my time with the game. These are my final thoughts after having actually given it a chance and finding myself disappointed that I spent $30 on it. So, yeah. If you uh, value my opinion, don't buy it. If you don't, well, you probably already own it because it's been out for a while and it is really polarizing for whatever reason and people really love it. That that I will never understand. and uh, I will probably never enjoy this game again, especially if I can't get a refund, which is... It's looking like I might not be able to, so that's that's just grand. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, I hope you'll go and check out some of the other videos on the channel. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button on your way out. It really means a lot. To me. I hope you all had a wonderful Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And if you don't, have a Happy Hanukkah or a Happy Kwanzaa or a Happy Holidays, I guess. If you're not celebrating any of those holidays, then I don't know what to call this for you. Just have a good one. Yeah.